Tonight, Truman Medical Center is squeezing some repeat emergency room customers. Well, people nearly killed by gunfire and other violence coming back again and again are tying up resources. So the hospital is using a unique treatment plan. Larry Stewart has the story. Each green push pin is a life lost to homicide. Scan this map of Kansas City's east side. Clearly it's a problem. City Hall funds aim for peace to stop the shooting. Still on the east side, they say homicide remains the number one killer of men ages 15 to 44. I think it's like, you know, responding to a broken dam. You know, we're trying to make sure that the, the floods of emotion and anger doesn't spill over into the community. It spills into Truman Medical Center's trauma unit every day, straining hospital resources to too often officials say doctors treat the same patients over and over again. They will tell you this is my third time here. Teresa Leinhop directs trauma services. She also supervises a three-year-old partnership with Aim for Peace. Their goal? To capitalize on what we call the moment of clarity when that patient arrives here and they think, oh, I'm not dead yet. Uh, maybe I should do something different. When vital stabilize, intentional assault victims speak with a chaplain or aim for peace caseworkers like Rashid Janaid, who used to live on the edge. We try to appeal with our, our past histories and uh, relationships that we develop with different people in, in, in the community to try to uh, mediate different disputes that happen. The results, according to the commander of East Patrol for Kansas City Police, are significant. Since the program started, East Zone homicides are down 19 percent, aggravated assault down 10. As a safety net hospital, Truman considers its involvement a responsibility. Those patients uh, rep repetitively come to the hospital. We do our best to manage other chronic conditions. Why, why shouldn't this be treated any different? In Kansas City, Larry Seward, NBC Action News.